Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I've just received three used Seiko watches that I bought from eBay and I'm really pleased with my purchases. So the first thing I'm gonna do in this video is head over to the light box and show you the three watches that I bought. The second thing I'm gonna do in this video is launch a giveaway because I wanna give one of these watches away in a couple of weeks time. And then the third thing I'm gonna do in this video is show you how I found these watches on eBay because I've had some success recently buying secondhand watches from eBay. I wanna share that with you, so yes, yeah, stick around. This then is the first of the three watches I wanna show you in this video. It is a Seiko 5 from January 1993. That's when this watch was made and it's in Almost perfect condition. It's considered, I guess, new old stock, although all of the three watches that I'm going to show you in this video were bought from one seller and um, none of them have packaging or any paperwork. I received just the watches, but the condition of this watch and the other two watches is incredible. Um, yeah, inside of this watch, you do have an automatic movement. It is the 7009 non-hacking, non hand wind movement but it has a really cool feature if you push in the crown you can change the date complication um, really really quickly so it's got a sort of quick set day function um, the crown has two positions uh, first position you can adjust the date and then the second position adjusts the time and as you can see it's a non-hacking movement because the crown is out and the second hand is still running um, but yeah, a fairly um, good looking Seiko 5, I think. Um, I suspect the loom isn't fantastic. I'll test the loom at the end or towards the end of showing you the three watches. Um, but yeah, it's a fairly sort of simple Seiko 5 watch, automatic movement. I'm not going to give you the prices individually, but I will share with you what I paid for all three watches um, when I show you how I found them. So yeah, I'm going to share towards the end of the video how I stumbled across these three watches because, um, yeah, I think you guys will benefit from using a couple of little tricks that I use um, when I search for watches on eBay. Here's the back of the watch then, and um, yeah, it's in pretty good condition, isn't it? No evidence of anybody struggling to get into the case back, no scratches or imperfections on that brushed surface. It's all looking very clean and tidy. Seiko at the top, you've got the serial number, 316355 at the bottom. The three represents 1993, the one represents January, and then the 6355 represents the number of watch off the production line. It says water resistant. Um, these watches are 30 years old. I'm not going to be testing them, and um, yeah, I'm not expecting them to be water resistant um, after that period of time. So I wouldn't risk it personally. And um, yeah, the other numbers you've got there 7009 represents the model of the uh, movement or the caliber and then 3180 is the reference for this particular case. And here's a close up shot of the dial and the case and the bracelet. It all seems to be in very good condition. It doesn't look like it's been worn and there are some marks and scratches on it, which is gonna happen. Um, this watch has been handled, I guess, occasionally over the last 30 years. So you would expect to see some marks and scratches, but overall um, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? And um, yeah, the dial looks to be in virtually perfect condition. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this one, really pleased. And there's the Caliber 7009 automatic movement inside this watch. Again, looks very clean and tidy. I've put it on the time grapher, plus four seconds a day. Okay, beat error, decent amplitude running very, very nicely after 30 years. Right, let's quickly move on to the second watch, and it's this Seiko Quartz SQ Two-Tone, which is 38 years old. And like the first watch, it seems to be in virtually perfect condition. Now, I'm not normally a fan of two-tone watches like this, but um, most of the gold accents on this watch are actually brushed, so it doesn't look too blingy. And um, yeah, I just love the look of it. Love the K shape. Um, love the fact that it's in such good condition. And yeah, 38 years old, it just doesn't look it, does it? Um, let's have a look at the model numbers. So the model number of the quartz movement inside this watch is 8123, and the model number for the case is 7240. Um, yeah, it's quite a cool looking watch, isn't it? It's probably my least favorite out of the three watches that I'm gonna show you in this video. 
I've saved the best till last, of course. Um, but yeah, I was just so impressed with the condition and actually how it looks. Right, uh, let's quickly move on to watch number three. And here it is. It's another 30-year-old Seiko 5. And there are some subtle Tissot PRX vibes about this watch, I think. Um, the K shape and the indices on the dial. Um, yeah, it's subtle, but it's definitely there, isn't it? And like the first two watches, it's in what's considered new old stock condition. So it doesn't look like it's been worn at all. I mean, look at the clasp. Yes, they are cheap clasps on these watches, um, but this is what you would have expected on a watch 30 years ago. Um, everything works as you would expect. Um, yeah, same movement as the other Seiko 5, the 7009. And again, I've put this one on the time grapher. It's running at around minus five, minus six seconds a day. Decent beat error and amplitude. So yeah, another strong movement considering it is 30 years old. And there's the case back on this watch again in fantastic condition. Seiko at the top, um, 365004 at the bottom. So 1993, this one was made in June in its watch 5004 off the production line. Again, you can see the model number for the movement inside this watch, 7009. And this case is model 3130. And here's a close up of the watch. Everything looks to be pretty good even after 30 years. The loom on those hands does seem to have deteriorated a little bit, but everything else seems to be pretty impressive. And um, yeah, the finishing on the case seems to be pretty good as well. The polishing on the sides is almost perfect. Look at that. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I still can't believe it. All right, let's check out the loom on these three watches. And the initial loom burst is actually okay. Um, but as I'm talking to you, it's fading pretty quickly, which I think you would expect given the ages of these watches. Two of them are 30 years old. The other one on the right is 38 years old. I'm not going to let it run for five minutes because there's just no point. The loom's almost vanished already. Right, before I share with you how I search for these bargains on eBay, let me launch the giveaway. I want to give away the first Seiko 5 watch I've shown you in this video. It's the one with the numbers on the dial. It's 30 years old. It's in fantastic condition and it's running very, very nicely. Whoever receives this watch, I think will be very, very pleased with it. Right, what do you need to do to participate in this giveaway? Two things. You need to be a subscriber of I Like Watches and you need to add a comment in the comments section to this video. I'll then upload a video in a week or two showing me using a random comment picker to pick a comment from the comments section. You will need to watch that uploaded results video. So you may want to click that bell notifications icon to make sure you don't miss it. If you are picked, then you will need to get in touch. Oldmantimegary at gmail.com. You'll send me your address and I'll send you the watch and boom, that's another watch given away. Right, let me share with you how I find or how I search for watch bargains on eBay. Um, so I would go into the search bar and type in something like Seiko Watches NOS, which stands for New Old Stock. Or I would write Seiko Watches New Old Stock. That would be essentially the foundation of my search. I then change the listing type to buy it now. I don't tend to participate in auctions, so I generally only look at the buy it now watches. I'll also change the category to watches because although I've put watches in the search bar, I mean, it does sometimes pick up other stuff. So yeah, I just want to change the category to watches. I also tend to search for brands individually, so I would also change the brand to Seiko. Even though I've put Seiko again in the search bar, it does sometimes throw up other watches with Seiko movements inside them. I also change location to UK only because I don't want to be dealing with international shipping and import taxes. So I generally search for watches that are already within the UK. And this next one is quite an important one. I would enable the search description function, which means whatever you've written in your search bar is going to be checked against the description boxes um, of all the listings. So for example, if you've put Seiko watches new old stock. If someone hasn't put that in their listing title, but they have put that in their listing description, then again, um, you will be shown that listing. That is quite an important one. And the last thing I would do is change the view price low to high because I'm looking for bargains. So yeah, I want to look at the cheapest listings first. Now, the two most important things I've done is included NOS or new old stock 
in my search bar and also enable the search description function. For me, that brings up watches that are older but in fantastic condition. If someone's put new old stock or NOS in their listing, the chances of you receiving a watch that isn't working or has problems, I think are dramatically reduced because they're essentially saying this watch is brand new. It's old, but it's brand new. So it, of course, should be working. And um, that's exactly how I found these three watches and other watches in very similar condition, which also represent fantastic value for money. I paid £170 for these three watches, which I think represents unbelievable value for money. But let me know, guys. What do you think? Did I overpay? Did I get bargains? Let me know. All right, guys. As always, massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. I do appreciate it.